Semicon Taiwan, an annual semiconductor industry event, opened its doors on Thursday. On the day's program was an auto chip summit, which was attended by government and international industry leaders. Responding to the question of talent poaching by Chinese firms, Economics Minister Wang Meihua said new laws and heavier fines would discourage such practice. She also called for closer collaboration between Taiwanese and international firms in the automotive supply chain. Industry and government leaders gather at the Global Auto Chips Executive Summit on the opening day of Semicon Taiwan 2022. Among the attendants were Minister of Economic Affairs Wang Meihua and representatives from Taiwanese industry heavy hitters such as TSMC and ASE Group. The event showcased the pivotal role of Taiwan's semiconductor industry in supplying auto chips to the world. In 2021, the world experienced a shortage in auto chips. By coordinating with the global supply chain, Taiwan has proved itself a trusted partner abroad. In the face of talent poaching by Chinese firms, Minister Wang said the government has amended the Trade Secrets Act and the National Security Act, under which predatory talent poachers will face heavier fines. The government will also coordinate efforts across ministries to prevent such practices. Meanwhile, on the question of the recent fall in share prices, Powerchip Technology Corporation Chair Frank Huang said one only has to observe the performance of industry leader TSMC, whose share price once tumbled from 600 NT to 400 NT. Huang added the market need not overreact. When the industry is not doing well, the market tends to overreact, and the same can be said when it's doing well. Our share's dividend yield is 5%, and the price-to-earnings ratio is 6, whereas TSMC's price-to-earnings ratio is almost 20. So TSMC's shares are a lot more expensive than ours. So how are our stocks performing? Let's be fair now. With recent advancements in electric vehicles and self-driving cars, demand for auto chips have created vast business and collaborative opportunities for Taiwanese firms. The government hopes to see closer supply chain collaborations between international automobile manufacturers and Taiwanese chip makers.